Oh, hey, everybody. I'm Blitz. And this is my very best friend in the entire world. His name is Kevin. Kevin is staring deeply into my soul. I'm not sure I like this very much. Kevin, what do you have to say for yourself? He doesn't have to say much, but he is he's so happy. Look at him. Isn't it kind of creepy how he's staring at me now? Instead of the regular Kevins that don't stare at you? This one just looks at me. I don't think I like that very much. I do know one thing, though. One thing is that you guys hit a ton of like buttons on the last two videos of People Playground. So many that we don't even get to give Kevin the option of, of which switch he gets to do. He just says he's so happy that you guys hit like and subscribe in the last videos and that you should do it again so something like this doesn't happen. Actually, that's a lot of bells. <laughs> Way more than I thought it was. Should we do it again? Because it's kind of funny. And... Uh-oh. Oh, there they are. <laughs> I wonder how many it takes to crash the game. That's a thousand bells each. And the good news is I just got a 3090 graphics card, so maybe it can handle a little bit more. Oh, we'll see. And we'll slow it down just for funsies. Oh, it's unpaused. That is a lot of physics calculations going on. Okay, we'll unpause it. Or unslow it. Uh-oh. Oh! It's thinking! Game is thinking! I had to slow it down again, because Kevin... I mean, he's getting crushed under the weight of this performance. There they go! That's actually really satisfying, watching that collide. Look at this. Here it goes! Oh, look at that! And the, the bell's ringing. You know what we're gonna have to do with this, right? I mean, we have, like, 4,000 bells on the screen now. It'd be a shame if we weren't going to get a nuke and blow him up. Hello, game. Please let me load in a nuke. It'll be exciting, I promise. I bet this is going to crash. If I just drop a nuke right on top... Okay, I'm not going to lie. Pretty impressed with the graphics card so far. It's stable. Are you ready to melt it? Because I'm ready to melt it. And you know who else is ready to melt it? Front-facing Kevin. He's just so creepy. Even he stares at me like that. Kevin, you deserve this. Oh, yeah. Oh, the game is crawling now. Ready? Get set. Activate. Oh, it worked. <laughs> My game didn't die, but Kevin did, so that's good. Wow. You can see the shockwave out here. Oh, oh, I think I did it. I think I did it. Yay! <laughs> well, so much for that new graphics card. There's a map we hardly ever play on. It's this one. It's the snow map. You know what's interesting? There's a new environment button where we can have it snow or not snow. We can also cause it to rain. And some fun things called lightning chance 100. And then and then we just like zap the entire world repetitively. Be a shame if Kevin were to get electrocuted. We'll just have to wait. Wow, oh, I dropped you way too far. Somehow we survived that. But he won't survive the electrical storm. Look, he's trying to crawl away. Poor guy. Lightning does strike twice. Huh. Oh, that was super close. <laughs> oh, no. Wow, lightning hit this one spot three times. Let's see if it can happen again. Oh, <laughs> oh poor. We're going to make him go away. He had too much Kool-Aid leaking from him. That's what happens with robot Kevins. Actually, somebody asked me. Oh, there he went. <laughs> somebody asked me why I don't use the Android for Kevin. I don't know. Something about robots. Uh, they just aren't as exciting as human robots. Whee! I also don't know why the lightning in the game doesn't make any sense to me. But then again, it is People Playground where not much of anything makes sense. So there is a new mod that I found. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, there's one that adds like trains and junk, which is fun because Kevin likes riding trains. This one's weird. Not gonna lie. It allows us to gr create things in the world like packed ice. Just a tile. Draw the bottom of ice. I don't know what to call it. So this one, it's slippery has anti-friction, letting any object slide forever. So we could make like a skiing hill for Kevin. Doesn't this sound fun? Is that upside down? I feel like that's upside down. We should try it. Oh no, <laughs> he's working. How do I delete that? How do I get, how do I, how do I get, oh, that's gonna hurt. Acceleration substance? Hold up. You need some acceleration substance, my dude. And then if I just, like, move you a little bit. I really don't know how to delete this stuff. Here. Accelerate under it. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Now if I delete that, and then I cause Kevin to go down it. <laughs> he has fun. He's going sledding. Yes, 
go, Kevin, go! I'm so proud of you, buddy. He really likes sledding. Sledding is his favorite pastime. Oh, until he breaks a leg and his face and every other... Oh, oh, okay. Whee! Splash. But I was wondering if we could build our friend here a nice little fun object to ride on down the sledding hill. Now, I do recall somebody making something quite unique out of these like a long time ago. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work, but it'll be funny if it does. Are you getting at what I'm getting at? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? And then we can just take the new pin thing and we'll just pin everything together. Maybe. That could work. I don't know if it will. Let's see. Does this roll now? Hello? Kind of? Maybe? Do I pick you up a little bit? There you go. Why are you not seeing? Oh, I pinned it to the background. Ah, oh, dumb. Where did I pin it to the background at? Dot com. There it goes. <laughs> Kevin, you need to go inside of here, bud. There you go. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. I wonder if he... Oh, he's actually protected. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Oh, he's picking up some serious speed. Woo. He's got it. He's... Oh, oh yes. That was awesome. Oh, he didn't survive the landing, though, because his leg got... Oh, it exploded. Oh, that's gross. Oh, no. Poor Kevin. We need to figure out a way. Remember those egg drop things that you did in, like, seventh grade where you dropped an egg off the top of the school inside of some protected box? That's what we're going to do right now. Kevin, it's time to put your seatbelt on. There you go, bud. Yeah, I'm just going to seatbelt you to the car. Like, nothing bad ever happened. And then we're gonna activate the car so it drives. I think this will work. I think, I think this is gonna do the trick. I think Kevin's gonna survive this one. <laughs> the car's spinning out on the ice. He might actually make it. If he does, then we might need to change how the ice works. Whee! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh! Hey! Oh, he almost survived. Did he survive? Sort of. That's amazing. Good job, Kevin. Although I feel like he's. He doesn't like that very much. He has to survive all the way until the object is stopped. Ah. You gonna be all right, dude? Nope, he's gone. We must start the engine and then turn it on. I feel like this will work. Let's follow him and see if he can survive. Yay. Hey, wait now. Hold up, dude. You're cheating and stuff. <laughs> you can't just fly over. There, that's better. Yeah, we just need to, we just need to activate. Oh. He's make oh this that actually hurts him a little. It's not not quite working. Uh huh. Speeder bro doesn't quite do the do the trick. Uh oh. Oh oh no oh no he made it off the edge. That's good news. Um, let's see what happens. Can he land it? Oh no! Sad day to be a speeder driver. All right, let's see if this works. Stabilizers off. Stabilizers on. Close the door. Close the door. Are you gonna walk now? Are you gonna walk? Do I have to pull you forward? Oh, he's, he's gonna go sledding down. <laughs> um, I don't know if this is gonna work, Kevin. I'm kind of impressed if it does. He's making it. He's making it. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. He's got that below and above ground walking going on here. Okay, here comes the dismount. Oh, he's an Olympian. Let's see how he lands. Oh, he did it. He landed. Nice. Nice, now we just must fire the minigun to make sure it still works. <laughs> Yay! That was pretty pretty cool. I like that. That was well done. What's that? Oh! He's got a missile. We must follow the missile. Wait, how did he get a missile? Oh no! Oh, it's coming right back at him! Oh, it missed. That was pretty cool. Well done, Laser Walker Man. You survived the sledding hill. And I know you guys really want to see it. Ever since you first saw the train, you thought, what happens if we drive the train? Would that be fun? I think so. We're just going to have to strap Kevin in because we don't want him to leave us at all, ever. And then we'll hit this button. And we'll unfreeze it. No, reverse gear. Go forward. There you go. Good job. And it would, I mean, it wouldn't be a proper people playground video if there wasn't a second train that was ready to hurl at them at full speed. They're both moving. This is good. This is good. Let's follow this side and just see what happens. Are you ready for this excitement? I am. I'm going to keep zooming back. We'll see what happens with Kevin. Oh, here they come. <laughs> 500 miles an hour train crash. Three, two, one, 
Zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and boom! Oh, that wasn't as exciting, but these little, <laughs> those wires are, <laughs> wee! <laughs> what is going on here? Would you not do that right now? We're trying to make a video. Stop it! You guys are not supposed to make baby trains right now. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. We have made a train taco. Yeah, that's what was supposed to happen. Except they're just supposed to blow up and stuff. Now evidently they're just stuck together. Unlike Kevin, he's no longer stuck together. He's having serious problems with his life. What's left of it? There's nothing left of it, if you were wondering. Oh no. <laughs> well, train crashes are fun. Now one other nice thing about this mod is that we can make like walls and we can make structures like big old giant huge walls like that like big ones that's a real big one that's a real big one look how much taller than kevin it is kevin's not too excited that he has a giant wall in his face mainly because kevin doesn't know if it'll hurt if a steam train crashes in behind him and then hits the wall yes yes it does hurt but kevin and his friend creepy kevin know one thing that giant walls are the only way to keep out titans until you know the Colossal Titan shows up and then destroys the whole idea of having a wall. Colossal Titan also doesn't really know how to walk very good, but you have to forgive him because he's new to this game. And, gah! oh, I was gonna impale him, but he just killed his friend, the Armor Titan. Incoming splash. So my idea, instead of building up walls, is that we have to build up some sort of fancy laser array to destroy the Titan. If you guys were wondering, this is the Attack on Titan mod. I'm personally, never watched them uh but i did watch a 20 minute youtube video recapping all three seasons so i had an idea what i was talking about i also know that the attack on titan world doesn't have giant lasers they only have really bad cannons that don't really do anything yeah like hardly do anything to giant titans as they trip and try to no they eat our cannons that's terrible dude colossal titan do you ever learn how to just not do dumb stuff no, you're just cowering why are you cowering? You're the biggest, cruelest, meanest thing in the history of big, cruel, mean things. I'm just gonna have to mend you. Yeah, is that better? Does that make you good? I'm just gonna, now you died. <laughs> you just crumbled into a pile of goop. It also makes me wonder if our laser walker bro, if he could do anything. There it goes, there it is, there it is. And if I follow that, whoa, boom! Oh, that didn't even, that didn't even hurt him. That hardly even hurt the Colossal Titan. This will be interesting. We must make a Death Star-like creation. So there's this giant glowing ball that I just found. It's called the sun. I don't really know what it does except make things not even burn. Weird. <laughs> Kevin? Where'd he go? Oh, he fell from the sun. Oh no. Oh, oh, he bounced pretty high. Huh. I thought something called the sun would literally be larger, but I was going to harness the power of it to power a laser. I'll be honest, I don't even know where it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the sun. There's also a tree and the moon. Is the moon larger than the sun? Almost. Something about this doesn't seem right. And there's a bush. Trees have gravity. This is awkward, too. If I clear everything, <laughs> the sun and the moon stay. They're with us forever. I can't get rid of them, dude. They're gone. I, I got to restart the map. You better not be on here. Oh, we have a problem. I'm actually kidding. I just spawned those in and I can undo them. Ha <laughs> ha, gotcha. So should we do it? Should we try to create a sun-powered, like, laser that destroys titans? I think that'd be fun. Okay, let's just try this real quick. Oh, yes, that's beautiful. And then it'll charge up a mega laser from that point. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. And we'll turn it off. Oh, yes. And activate. Oh, beautiful. Nice, that's so cool. Oh, I love how it turns off in like series two. That's awesome. All right, let's see if this firing mechanism works. One key to activate. It's charging, it's charging. You see the little bar charging. It's charging, getting power from the energy. That didn't even make sense, but I'm gonna go with it. And then once it's fully charged up, we can hit this button. Ooh, ooh, did it work? Oh, oh, it's working, yes. Oh, it's kind of flickering. Oh, that's so cool. Look, we made a laser. And I can shut it off anytime I want. Actually, it's not even spawning in. <laughs> there, there we go. Should we see what this does to our friend Kevin? Now we know Kevin isn't a Titan, but it'll still be exciting. Go! Oh, my word, it cut him straight in half and it took his hand off. Oh, not quite. Wow, that was fun. That's a powerful laser. 
All right, so the next step. Do you remember in the last video when we built the time portal? Yeah, I think I forget which one. Probably three. Probably three is the best one. Oh, there it is. Okay, I like that. And if I take it all and I rotate it, I don't even know why I'm rotating it, but I feel like I need to. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh, I love it so much. Uh-oh. Are these keys? Keypad two and one. Well, if I hit the one key, let's see what happens. Pew! Everything's charging up. Nice. And then the two key fires. Hmm. Okay. That's kind of neat. But it doesn't fire this. Oh, that's because it's not fully charged yet. Okay. And three. Yeah. It's... Whoa! 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be fun. Look at the laser trying to escape the black hole. Yeah, I'll be honest. We're just going to remove these like that. Yeah all of those we don't really need that thing we just need the black hole generator which is this thing and we got to put the sun right in the middle of it yeah i'm excited for this now it's testing purposes we have to see what happens if all of these turn on does it absorb the sun it doesn't we're just absorbing okay we're getting power from the sun we're sucking the power out of the sun and then that is what's going to be charging up this laser and three two one blast off at some point it should just deteriorate. Oh, it can't. That's right. It can't because it doesn't have the power from the outside. Nice. That's going to work good. You're probably thinking, hey, Blitz, that one laser really isn't enough. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a buttload of them together. All right. Let's see if it works. Ooh, they're all firing up. Oh, that looks nice. And then we'll fire it. Uh oh, oh, <laughs> yes. Mega laser. Mega sword. And then we'll put in Creepy Kevin. Oh, <laughs> yay. Look, he got toasted like some popcorn. Wow. Okay, that was incredible. This is really fun to do. Where it just kind of circles around itself. Isn't that incredible? There's something weird about that black hole wave that's being caused. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, it's such a neat machine. So after an hour and a half of building, may I present to you the solar powered Death Star. Powering up, powering up. Oh yes, it's online and activated, but it's not fully charged yet. Are you ready for this? Ready? In three, two, one, headphone alert. Oh, oh yes, it's a black hole powered Death Star. Look at how cool that is. And then like that's actually a laser beam coming out of the front of it. That's incredible. And pew. Oh, but it's like one charge because it, it totally drains down the sun. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I feel bad for it in a way. Because it's like, oh, we can only use a sun once. And then it's like little shambling mess that it used to be. And here's really what you wanted to see. You wanted to see the Titan being destroyed by it. I'm just going to freeze him. I don't want to freeze him, but I, I think I have to. Maybe I'll freeze that part. <gasps> oh, yes. Are you ready for this? And charge up the black hole. Would you stop being like a coward? Stop cowering. Try to walk and stuff. There you go. If I just clear your animation override. No, then you just go into cower mode. Would you not do that? I want you to walk and stuff. That'll work. That'll do the trick. All right. Activate the power cell. Black hole sucking in the power of the sun. Charge up the lasers. You ready to fire? I'm ready to fire. Detonate the black hole. Bzz, yeah! <laughs> oh, look at him go. And if I unfreeze him, bow. <laughs> that was so cool. Oh, that was so awesome. Wow. Oh, there he is. We can just like blast him a little bit. Wow. I did not expect him to get sucked in. That's why the laser stopped working. Laser's fried. <laughs> Can I activate it? No, the lasers are fried. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. That was so cool. I want to do it again. I'm not going to lie. I really wish <laughs> you wouldn't cower. No, I really wish this was like 14 times bigger. Like I can, but the sun, I can't grab the sun. I could resize the whole thing, but the sun stays, stays dinky. So beep. Whoop, whoop, whoop. we'll just have to make it the best we can, which is pretty much that. And then we'll detonate. We'll start sucking in the power from the sun. 
Yes. And then we'll hit the one key. So if you want to do this, I'll upload this to the Steam Workshop. You'll have to get the Sun mod on your own, or you can use it without it. Uh, you hit the one or the two key on the keypad to charge these up like that. And then the one key powers up these and those lights. And then the three key is the laser itself. You can see the laser charges. And then if you hit the four key, the four key is what turns on these little generators behind to start up. Like, oh, and it looks so amazing. <laughs> oh, what a cool creation. Anyway, guys, that'll do it for today's video. We'll keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd also like to thank Ben, Alan Hagen, Dickie James, Otto Dave, Eagle Arc, Seraphin X, Desbogger, Maxer, Zarnoff, Noah Collingwood, Jason McFarland, Dagan, Paul Longstone, and Rail, as well as the rest of the Patreon supporters and everyone who has joined the channel as a YouTube member. 